Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me today. My name is Yoon. My last video I talked about and demonstrated what I called clear singing and unclear singing or fuzzy singing as it were. Now some people have asked me exactly how do you produce clear singing? There are a lot of factors that are involved when you do it and I'm going to just give a little bit of advice. This is not really what I would call vocal instruction. It's just more like giving you a vocal tip. A lot of the times you'll see in instructional videos or maybe in instructional manuals or books about singing, they talk a lot about the physical aspects of your voice, the physiology and what's going on. But my philosophy is, is that yes, it is very important for you to know the mechanics of what's going on in your voice, but you shouldn't be thinking about that when you're singing. In fact, that's the last thing you want to be doing is actually thinking when you sing. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean like, oh, have a clear, open mind and, you know, let all the singing vibes come to you, please. My voice teacher would always talk about the conscious mind and the brain. You always want to sing with your brain. What does that mean? Let's try a little experiment. I want you to think about your breathing. Really think about how the air goes in and out of your nose or your mouth. And just do that for a second. Here we go. I don't know if anyone noticed, but your breathing becomes really unnatural because your conscious mind is now aware of how you're breathing. And then all of a sudden you just can't breathe. But now when you're not thinking about breathing, you're totally doing fine. I think if you constantly thought about how you were breathing, you'd probably pass out. Or at least you start feeling sick because you weren't getting enough oxygen to your brain and the rest of your body. When we're born, we actually know how to really use our voices. No one told us how to use our voice from the moment we started crying. And when you hear a baby cry, let me tell you, you do not ignore it. Because it is so clear and so resonant and it is deep in the belly because that is the only way they can communicate. And as children get older, their voices are the same way. They're so crystal clear. You can hear a child yelling all the way down the block, not even yelling, just calling out. And that's because they are using their truest voice. They don't know how to use anything else. It's when teachers and grown-ups start to say, use your inside voice, where they start to learn to suppress the sound of their voice and to change the way their voices are. What I am trying to get at is that you want to remember what it was like when you were a child and how freely you used your voice and how you didn't think about what sound was coming out of you because that was just your voice. So how do you do it now that you're older? Something I like to do with my vocal students is I say, when is your birthday? Everyone think about your birthday and say it. So let's just say that we're going to sing five note scale. E right, so imagine you just think about singing that five note scale. E it sounded fine, I guess. But for me, what it does is that it feels more pressed in and I'm holding something back and yet here I thought I was singing normally. Now I'm going to think about my birthday. When's my birthday? Oh, then. E oh, different sound. Hmm. I'm tapping into, thinking about my birthday is tapping into that part of my brain where it's automatic. And that's where I see my sound. So I'm, just imagine, just point to your head and you're like, that's where your birthday is. E rather than, where's my birthday again? You wouldn't do that, would you? You wouldn't be going, oh, when's my birthday? That's the one thing you wouldn't forget, right? You could also think of something else that's very automatic, like where you live. And you think of your address and you're like, oh yeah, I live there. E rather than, where does Matt live? Where on 51st Street? E that's when you're searching for something. You don't want to search. You want to know. Right there. Your birthday. Oh. Eee. 
I know it may seem a little bit abstract to think about your birthday and start singing, but what I'm trying to get to is that you want to tap into your brain when you sing. You don't want to be using your conscious mind. Now, don't get me wrong. You do need to use your conscious mind to work. When we practice, we do some conscious thinking and effort when we're doing that. But our goal is to be able to not think. What we want to do is really tap in to, oh, I know where I am when I'm singing. That's it for today. I'm closing out with a little song. It's a children's song. I'll be singing and playing and trying to do my best singing in my real voice. I hope to see you next time. Subscribe! If you'd like to see what's going on and maybe even put like or share. I hope to see you again soon. Bye! Draw.